welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, just really quickly, I just want to apologise about the lighting. The sun sort of keeps going in and out. So if I keep going sort of dark and light, that is why. I'm really sorry about that. Um, yeah, so today, as you can tell by the title, I thought I'd do a little video on baby products um, that have a cheaper alternative. Now, there's a lot of things at the minute that you can get that can be quite expensive. And if you're like me, I didn't really sort of have the funds necessarily to go buying all these amazing things. I mean, if I did have the money, I probably would have. I'm not saying they don't work or anything like that. I thought I would just do a little list um, of I feel what are the top things at the minute and just give the alternative that we got and we found actually work really well. So if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, let's just jump straight on in. Okay, so number one is, of course, the sleepy head. I've heard amazing things about this and I'm sure it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I was absolutely adamant that I wanted it and I was going to spend that amount of money on it. Um, I think at the minute they are going for about 130 and then I think extra covers are like £50. So it can add up quite a lot. Shaz actually ordered offline. I can't remember where it was from, um, but he got a little nest a little sleeping nest pod thing um and it was i think 39.99 and it's been absolutely brilliant i mean jacob sleeps 11 hours at night so yeah it's just fantastic i will link what i can down below as well so number two i've put the tommy tippy perfect prep machine um yeah if i had like a load of money i probably would go and get it however as old school as it sounds, we just actually use a kettle and like a jug to cool it down with. Um, we're quite lucky from three months, Jacob pretty much started sleeping through the night anyway. Um, so the night feet weren't that bad. But what I used to do is I literally used to just put the kettle, the milk um, and his bottles and that on a little tray and bring it up to the bedroom. So obviously I wasn't up and down. And yeah, that just worked really well for us. And also throughout the day, I sort of preempt his feeds anyway. So yeah, you don't have to go buying a perfect prep machine. Again, if I had the money, I probably would have got it because it does make life easier. Um, but yeah, you can just use a kettle. And as long as, like I said, you just sort of preempt it, it just really helps. Okay, so number three, I've put a sort of like baby swing type bouncer thing. I can't remember what they're called. Um, yeah, again, these can retail like at a ridiculous price. I mean, I saw one for like 300 pounds and I just thought this is ridiculous. And we were very kindly gifted, just a sort of plain bouncer for my baby shower. And that has just been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, we have to rock him ourselves, but it gives our legs a workout. So <laughs> yeah, we found our bouncer works amazing. He um, relaxes in it really well. So yeah. I think just a normal bouncer, you don't have to go buy a £300 baby swing that they're only going to be in a matter of months. Okay, so number four, I've put like a cot. Now, there are some beautiful nursery furniture pieces online, especially like mamas and papas, like they're stunning. And again, if I had the money, I would have forked out for it. However, we got, um, or my mum, I should say, got our cot and our mattress from Ikea. And I think for the both, it was about £100, 110 maybe. And again, it's brilliant. Like I said before, we've just got one bedroom house. It's good for small spaces um, and it's going to last him quite a while because you can adjust where the mattress is as well. So you can lower it when they start sort of manoeuvring about. Um, so yeah, our cot is just being brilliant we haven't ever had a next to me crib either we've just used the pod and his cot and it's yeah it's just worked for us and like i said he sleeps 11 hours at night so it's done something right okay so number five i put our pram buggy um again like i really wanted like the mamas and papas one oh, they are they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, if I had the money, I feel like I've said this throughout this whole video, I would have got it. However, we were obviously limited on funds and my dad and my stepmom were very, very kindly bought our pram for us. And I absolutely love it. I have done a full buggy review here on my YouTube. I'll link that down below. Um, it's called the I Safe Marble and it came with obviously the frame, the car seat, 
the sort of normal pram seat and then it comes with the cot like attachment um for when they're newborn and it was 399 off of amazon and it is i like i can't rave about this buggy enough it's just brilliant it's brilliant to go with, to the shops with it's brilliant to go sort of on walks and things like that i probably wouldn't take it over like you know harsh terrain but yeah it's fantastic the bottom bit like where you put like your shopping and things it's huge like i can fit so much stuff in there it's really comfortable for jacob as well really really comfortable and yeah, I just, I can't rave about it enough. Like it is, we were recommended it um, by a friend from work, Hayley. And yeah, I would recommend this. I want to scream a shout about it because most sort of travel systems that you get at the minute, they're, I mean, they're going off for about a thousand pound. I mean, my car was 1,200, so, <laughs> you know, and yeah, I just, like I said, it's just brilliant. So again, I'll try to link that down below for you. Also, another perk to it is obviously I had a C-section and even after giving birth, like you're sore and it is so easy just to like collapse. You can do it all with one hand. Um, and that was a big thing for me. Like the thought of like, I mean, not that we've been going out loads at the minute, but the thought of sort of going to the shops and that and be faffing around and trying to get your bags and everything. I just wanted something really, really simple. And I literally just click the grey bit. It folds up and into the car it goes. So, yeah. The iSafe Marvel, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so number six, I've seen a lot of people get these. I don't think I probably ever would have got one. It's one of the Tommy Tippy nappy bins. Um, to me, it's just another bin that you have to clean because <laughs> I'm that lazy. Basically, what we do is at night, we just pop a little bin bag or like a little nappy bag at the top of the stairs and if he needs his chap if and when he needs his nappy changing we just pop the nappy in there take it down in the morning and throw it out um i don't think they're necessary it's just another cost another thing you really don't have to buy like again if you feel like you really need it and you're going to use it um and things like that obviously get it but yeah i think the nappy bins i don't think are really necessary okay so number seven i've put the sort of sterilizing system ugh, la la la. <laughs> i put the sterilizing systems that you can get now again i think if we had a bigger kitchen and things like that it would probably all be different but for me to sterilize something yeah obviously you can use milton and stuff like that um but a good way to get rid of germs is wash with hot soapy water and then sterilise with boiling hot water out the kettle and then that kills everything because literally as soon as you take stuff out the steriliser anyway, it's not sterilised anymore. Um, and as soon as you put it on the countertop, it's not sterilised anymore. So as long as you're washing your bottles properly and sterilising them with boiling hot water to kill any germs, you'll be absolutely fine. So literally all I do is I have a, another washing up bowl that I put the bottles in wash them um and yeah then i just sterilize them with the boiling hot water out of the kettle every now and then i do use milton um so I'll just pop that in with the boiling hot water however i do find that with the milton and because we use purified water um it can sometimes make it smell a bit like chemical chemically chem chemical can't talk chemically and that's not the right word is it you guys know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, so again, it's just one of those things. If you can't really afford one, don't worry about it. Like, basically, as long as you've got a kettle, you'll be absolutely fine. Number eight, I'm going to put, this is mainly more for like the parents, I think. But number eight, I'm going to put changing bag. Um, now, I do have a changing bag. I'm not saying don't get a changing bag because they are brilliant. Obviously, they're designed to carry bottles and things like that. However, like if you go into, I think I went into Boots and I looked at their changing bags and I'm not joking, there was one for £99 and I just thought, are you having a laugh? Like, no. Um, so I went onto Amazon and I absolutely love our changing bag. Um, it is brilliant. It fits in everything we need. Um, also, whenever it's full up with, you know, the kitchen sink, because let's be honest, that's what you take out with you. Um it's not heavy at all again it fits in the bottom of my my buggy it also clips onto my buggy um yeah it's absolutely brilliant and also it's one of the rucksack ones as well 
um, which I do think are becoming quite popular. Um, but definitely, I would go onto Amazon, to be honest, for changing beds, because I think these ones from Boots and things like that are just, I don't know how they can actually warrant, <laughs> you know, charging £99 for a changing bed. I just think it's absolutely ludicrous. But yeah, change bed from Amazon, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. All right, my lovelies, so that was my little video on sort of cheaper alternatives on baby products. Um, if there's any other sort of like baby newborn advice you'd like me to give, let me know down in the comments. I do like making these sorts of videos because also I like sort of just um, putting out there that, you know, you can have a baby on a budget. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I really, really appreciate it. And also don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. I do have a private account because obviously Jacob is on there quite a bit, but give me a request and obviously I'll accept. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely Sunday and I shall see you all in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye.